One of the things we like to do uh, when we buy a new RV is personalize it because otherwise it's just another RV and it might be, you might have another Integra owner with the same model. We like to make it our own, you know, make it our, uh, our little magic touch. So one of the first things we've done on our uh, Integra Anthem is we've changed the lighting. We now have this amazing colored lighting. Before this was just a very cold white, almost fluorescent, um, like you get in supermarkets. And whenever you had it on, it was really, really cold. So now we've got the ability, we can change the color, you know, we can change it to any color, any color we want. If we want, we can have a little disco effect. Not that we will, because we're far too old for that sort of thing. Uh, although Julia would probably beg to differ. But it's nice because, you know, different times of the day you can have it on, you get, I mean, we, this is quite a nice, um, the, the sort of yellow is a nice effect, I think. It's a nice touch and it gives a nice ambience, 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 um, good French word, gives a good ambience um, to the decor in here. And once we've uh, explained the other lighting changes we've made, you'll see how it all fits together. Trying to watch a film with these lights on is just, it's just too intense. You're watching a film here and yet you've got these really, really bright lights straight into your eye line. So I contacted Integra and asked if there was any possibility um, to have them dimmed, not only here in the lounge, but throughout the coach. Because again, in the bedroom, they're meant to be an accent light and they were actually like, whoa, sort of light. So. We asked if they could change them. There was a charge, it wasn't much. I think, from memory, I think it's, it was about $150 or $200, whatever it was, but it wasn't much. And I want you to look at the difference now, at the sort of mood you can get on this lighting. So now you can watch a film or you know, have a doze with a little bit of lighting on and it's not actually dark outside, so you're not getting the true effect. But this same dimmable uh, ability now is throughout all the lights on the kitchen, in the bedroom and in the bathroom. Um, and it really is pretty spectacular now. It's really pleasing to the eye. Uh, and you can get so many different, so many different moods now with, especially with our, you know, colored lighting and this being dimmable, it's, it's really good now. It's a lovely, a lovely, lovely atmosphere. You know, when you're just chilling out at the end of the day, rather than, you know, a light shining in your eyes. But uh, I'll get uh, Julia to swing round and show you what it looks like on the kitchen worktop now. See, that's how it was before. And now, really nice. And you go right down, even to a glow. So I'm really, really pleased with that improvement. And as I say, that runs through the bedroom and the bathroom. So uh, fantastic thing, this footstool. We have our feet up on it all the time when we're sitting on our sofa watching telly. Um, but a bit cumbersome and uh, awkward to move around so we uh, pinched this idea from our good friends John and Flora uh, and all credit to them for coming up with the uh, the suggestions so the first thing is that this the top obviously is an ottoman opposite ottoman footstool we keep the bedding for this bed as, as and when people need it but with these brackets these slide up brackets at the sides it becomes a great little table for sitting and you know having a sandwich watching uh, watching tv so once that's down and the other good thing about it is we added some casters so it makes it a little bit higher and also incredibly easy to move now we usually stow ours here when we're traveling the casters are lockable so you just press those down and lock them all into position and it's fantastic. There we go. 
very, very easy to move. And obviously, you know, nice and safe on the floor, doesn't scratch the lovely floor. And there you have it. Great idea. Thanks. Thanks, John, Flora. So a really good safety tip for everyone. Um, when you're when you set off to travel, we've all done it. We've all forgotten to lock the fridge. We learned the hard way. We had a glass, a small glass bottle of tonic water, which uh, fell out of the fridge amongst other things that, that fortunately weren't breakable. Uh, smashed on the tiles, the glass went everywhere, splintered into a thousand pieces, and of course the sticky tonic water went everywhere as well. So now what we do is um, we have one of these floor mats which um, came with the RV. Maybe you've got one, if not, you can buy them, buy something similar. And what we do is when we close up the two sides, we make sure that this is in between and directly in front of the fridge so that if you do forget to lock the fridge, uh, you know, when you set off or when you come back to make a drink or get something cold out of the fridge, um, uh, the anything breakable will hit the carpet and not the tiled floor uh, um, of course it's not just to stop things breaking it's also if uh, if it was something quite heavy uh, you could quite quite easily crack a tile and that would be a nightmare to replace so that's a really really good practical useful tip The dishwasher. Some of you might not appreciate that it does actually lock automatically. Uh, we um, drove for quite a while, quite a few weeks I think, when we set off travelling, uh, not knowing that the dishwasher locked. It was a complete oversight on the part of um, the dealer that handed over the RV to us and we understand that it has been an oversight uh, with with quite a few dealers because we've met people on the road who have been doing exactly the same thing as we did for the first couple of months and that was we used to have to wedge a couple of carpets uh, in between the dishwasher and this because obviously when it's closed in it's, a, it's about there's about this, this much space we wedged carpets to keep the thing from flying open now um, to lock it it's very very simple everyone's got one of these if you've got a dishwasher you've got one of these remote controls all you do is you point it at it, you press it, and hold it for six seconds until you hear a little bleep, and then you, you hear it locking. There you go, solid as anything. It's not gonna go anywhere, and you're gonna not get a dent in your wood like we have. And to unlock it when you stop, You've had dinner, you want to load it again, you literally press it again. And it's open. So just in case you don't know, to lock the dishwasher, remote control, press it. They say for six seconds, press it. Then put the uh, remote control safely away in that drawer. And there you go, nice and safe. One of the things that's a real interest of mine is having really, really good audio visual. If I'm gonna watch something, it's gotta be good quality. And if I'm gonna hear something, it's gotta be good quality. I'll just give you a tough couple of tips. The Bose system that comes in your coach, whether you have a, an Anthem or a Cornerstone, the infrared sensor, which is behind this tape, Integra stick on the bottom right-hand corner. It won't work there. The actual infrared pickup sensor is on the bottom left corner. And if you put black tape over your sensors, they will work better. And you'll find the sensors work, normally work better when this is closed. But if you put tape over them, then you'll find that they will work better. Now, one of the things you may notice here, uh, it depends how observant you are, is that there is no uh, satellite unit. It's because it, it's a product that you don't need to access because it's accessed by the remote infrared eye. So we took the satellite receiver out and I've actually put it in the corner behind the telly. So in that far corner is our satellite receiver and that gives us so much more room. Uh, another thing we've upgraded, we've taken out the ridiculously stupid 
Samson DVD player that's supplied, the one that has no indicator lights, you don't know if it's on, you don't know if it's off. We've taken that out and we've actually treated ourselves to one of the only 4K DVD players available. So we now have 4K DVD, we've got the Bose system, we've got our control for the Wingard satellite and the actual satellite receiver is in the far corner. Now, if you're able to get someone with a thin, a very thin arm, get them to plug a USB extension at the back of the telly. Because if you want to, if you've got anything on a USB stick, a film or photos, and you want to play them through the telly, it's actually impossible the way this telly is mounted to see them. So we've just plugged in this um, USB uh, extension cord. And there you have it. it, you know, we've got 4K TV now, we've got a lot more space, our sensors work, and we're pretty happy. Um, now, I know Glenn's been telling you all about the spotless uh, system that we've got for washing the outside of the coach and, and the uh, Mini. Um, it's a product that uh, has deionized water and you spray it on after you've washed the car and everything and it's, uh, it dries spotless. Um, another great tip um, is that you can use it on your beautiful shower. And uh, we use, every time we have a shower, we just rinse, first of all rinse the, the, the glass particularly with the, with the shower hose and then after that, just spray it with some of the deionized water. We just put it in a small container so it's more um, manageable. We just keep this in the shower. Spray it all over and then, you know, go off and do your thing. You come back and you have literally a beautifully clean shower with no uh, lime scale or, you know, soap residue on the glass at all. It's fantastic. Thousand and one uses for this spotless product. Let me show you something else that we've added to um, our Integra. And there's two things here. One is purely vanity. It's purely boys' toys. And the other one is a real safety feature. And what made us buy um, the tyre monitoring system, I think they call it T TM, tyre monitoring pressure system, TMPS, I think they call them. There's several on the market. We did our research. And this one seemed to be uh, seemed to get quite a few recommendations. We've had this installed for about uh, five six weeks now. It's never given us a false reading. It's very easy to use, very easy to set up. And we actually saw before we installed this, we actually saw a uh, a truck, a semi, pass us and actually have a blowout, which caused an accident. And when you see it happen in front of you, um, it really does encourage you to buy one and install it. Any tyre blowout is going to affect your handling of, of the bus. So I would strongly recommend this easy tyre system. There's sensors that go on uh, each of the wheels. There's two types. There's one that you can leave on the wheel while you pressurise it or de-inflate and there's the other ones which you have to take off to pressurise. I prefer the latter. I prefer the ones that you can take off because they're, they're less bulky uh, and I think they look a lot better. In fact, you don't even notice them on the wheels. Whereas the one where you, um, is, you can pass air through the sensor so you don't have to take them off, they're quite bulky. So that's one of the things that uh, we've got as a safety feature. And you can just, we've just stuck it on the dashboard with Velcro. And this also does our tow car. So we've got sensors on the tow car and we can, we can disable that at any time. So if the tow car is away from the vehicle and we're just in the RV, that would keep coming up with a false reading because obviously the tow car is not present. So you just press two buttons and it will um, detach the tow car from the monitoring system. So that's one of, the, um, one of the items which I would say in any RV, whether it's an Integra or Winnebago, Holiday Rambler, American Coach, doesn't matter. Get yourself one of those. They're about five or six hundred dollars. They're worth every penny because if nothing else, it will give you an early warning that you've got a pressure leak, you know, and it could save the day. So anyway, that's that. Now, now the vanity part. 
when when we visited the Integra Rally, from what I can remember, because I seem to believe that someone kept giving me lots of free alcohol, so I may have been a little bit tipsy. I think that comes through on the video, but uh, one of the things that really impressed me, probably more than anything, on the 2017 model, were the cup holders. It had LED cup holders. Cup holders. So, with the, um, the benefit of Amazon, I got myself some LED cup holders. Now, there were two ways I could wire these in. One was just when the side lights were on. In other words, when all the other dashboard uh, elements are, are lit. But we wanted to do something a little bit special. So the way that we've wired these cup holders up is that when I take the parking brake off, you will see the cup holders come on. And when the parking brake's off, the cup holders go off. Now, there's two reasons for this. You wouldn't really use the cup holders unless you're driving, so you don't really need them as a, a display at night. And the, and the second thing is, I was going to say we're forever opening the door when I haven't taken the brake off, which does damage the, the catch on the door that, that brings the door in. So we've sometimes, not that often now, but there are still cases where Julia will open the door either from the outside or from the inside before I've enabled the part brake. And you hear this almighty great crack where it's forcing the catch on the door. So the system we've got now is when those LED cup holders <clears throat> are illuminated, you don't open the door and when they're off you do open the door so I have to thank Jacob at Integra um, basically I asked him the best way to wire this into the circuit and uh, he sent me all the instructions on a PDF which I'll happily send to anybody that wants it um, <clears throat> and he did that within an hour so if you're watching this Jacob thank you so much for your very prompt response and the wiring schematic and instructions that you sent me were brilliant and very easy to follow. So basically, we like our, we like our little uh, vanity touch and it, it does look cool when you're driving. I mean, you, you can't, you know, and when you put a glass in it, it illuminates the whole glass. It's, uh, it really is quite awesome. And of course ours are green to match the coat. <laughs> Another really great improvement in our 2016 Integra are these integral seat belts set into the seat. Before the seat belts were anchored back here and stretching back to get them was a right a pain and then you have to fix, fix, uh, fix them down here. So these are, are a great advantage. The only trouble is a, a lot of people are, are finding that depending on your, your height, size, whatever, it, it cuts into your shoulder a little bit here um, you know sometimes we travel for a long time on a day you know we could travel for six hours up to six hours so it, it was getting a bit bit of a pain so uh, we've come up with two solutions to this the, the first one is this which is this beautiful sheepskin I call it a squirrel um, sheepskin piece that we fit on uh, the seat belt and that as you fasten your seat belt that just slides up and protects you nice and soft on the shoulder, which is lovely. We bought these from a shop called Outland, I think, in Fort Worth, but they were $15 each, really lovely things. Um, I'm sure you can get them online and that sort of thing. So another idea we came up with before we found the, um, the furry things uh, was this clip, which is a, a clip for um, a bag, uh, you know, a cornflake bag or whatever. Um, it, it's just, it locks into position like that. You can get them in Ikea or you know, I'm sure any supermarket and stuff. Um, and what you do with this is once you've fastened your seat belt in the correct place, if you just pull it forward about an inch, maybe two inches, lock that there. This then is is nice and relaxed. You know, there's a little bit of give there that doesn't rub on you at all. This part's nice and tight. And the inertia, obviously very important safety feature of the of the um, of the seat belt, definitely still works. You know, so if if in the event of a fierce braking, 
it would it would still stop stop you from going forward so two two options the lovely furry squirrel and the IKEA clip now this you're gonna like this next uh, improvement or upgrade is something we've done on the last three RVs we've had it's not that much of a difficult job but with the Integra the way the water bay is you may want to ask Integra to do this for you unless you're really handy so let's have a look and see what this uh, this improvement or this upgrade is as you can see there's a big blue I say big it's not that big there's a blue water tank which is a pressure tank as used on central heating systems and basically what this does I think this is a two gallon tank and this is um, plumbed in line with the outlet of the water pump so this will basically fill up with two gallons of water which is under pressure which means through the night if you want to use the toilet the pump which is situated just below one side of the bed in one of the bay lockers the pump doesn't run because the water is being supplied from that pressure tank and the only time that the pump will now run is to refill that tank. Other advantages of this is you get a constant water pressure so you, you, you don't get the surging anymore. Now obviously when you're having a shower um, the pump will be running because A it will be filling up the uh, pressure vessel and B it will be supplying you uh, the usage for the shower. But it's a great, very easy thing to put in. I think the tank costs sixty dollars, um, and you've just got to plumb it in line with the outlet of the water pump. So you'll have to crawl in there and find that the um, the tube, cut into it. If you're going to do it yourself, make sure you use the right clips because you know these are under this line is under pressure. So you don't want uh, you don't want an indoor pool. is a fantastic invention. This, uh, someone called uh, Randy at uh, the last rally told me about this product. It's called Norwex. I'll put a link or I'll put the name at the end of this video. And it's actually, I believe, it's actually a dishcloth. And it's got, I think it's got like silicon encrusted in the cloth. And it is just the best for removing bugs off the front of the RV or or the window it just it just takes them off as though they're not there I mean it's just incredible it doesn't scratch it's completely non-abrasive and it makes taking bugs off the front completely effortless so if you look at this a classic you know, dead being on the front. It's quite difficult to, to actually get off. You just use this cloth and there's another one just above the wiper here and it's just it is it's almost like magic and look at the ones on the screen just above the wiper. These are these are all sort of dried on and gooey. We just wipe it with this cloth and off they come. It's, it is quite amazing. The one thing we do is we get the bugs off with this cloth before we wash the coach. Um, so that way we get all the bugs off the front, we wash the coach, we rinse it with the spotless uh, water cleaner and then it leaves it a completely uh, spotless clean finish. It's a great product and it's great for windows. Uh, you can clean your shower with this as well. It's, I don't know what's in it, but it, it feels abrasive, but it's not. It must be some sort of silicone or nylon, but it definitely, definitely doesn't scratch. There's some more here, just under the wiper in the middle here. Just a quick wipe. I mean, it's, it's just effortless. Absolutely effortless. So, once you get your new Integra, there's something you're going to have to do. 
Well, I mean, we did mention this three times when it went back for snagging, but uh, listen, it's not a big deal. It's so easy to fix. But basically, when your coach is delivered, these wipers will be so tight, they do up the nuts so tight that it will be fixed in a position. Now that's great if the, win if the screen, if the windshield was flat, but the windshield curves in and around. So these have to move, these have to be loose. And we had a situation before we loosened them where it wouldn't actually wipe the water off the screen. It only actually wiped a third of the screen. Yeah. So this is the nut, I believe it's a 10 mil spanner. Uh, this is the nut you need to undo. Undo that a couple of turns and undo it at the top a couple of turns and make sure that your wiper moves freely. And that way, when your wipers are on, you'll get a beautiful clean swipe of the window. I need to look at while you're doing the wipers, after you've tightened them up, just make sure that these, um, these jets here, there's one, two, three, four, and then there's two at the back. There's actually six jets on each wiper arm. So with a small pin, you just put it in, adjust it, try it, put it in, adjust it. It'll probably take you 10 minutes to do both wipers, but um, the way they come, the, basically all the jets are just pointed in one very small area. And when you look at the, the length of the wiper blade, you can adjust these jets. So basically you get three jets on the top and three jets on the bottom, and you get a nice clean swipe of the screen. Now, one of the things that uh, we had a bit of a problem with for the first, well, up until about a month ago, was every time Julia did some cooking, I mean, anything, toast, any, anything, the smoke alarm used to go off. And, um, you know, smoke alarms do go off and you wave a cushion or a, or a magazine and they go off. But when you're up in the mountains, you know, it's freezing. The only way you can do any cooking is to have the windows open, the door open, and the toilet door and the fan running full, you know, full bore to stop the smoke alarms going off. So we reported this as a fault. And I said, I basically wanted a different smoke alarm put in, but further away from the cooking area, which, which they did. And then we read on the forum, IRV2 forum, that there was a vent that had to be opened. And this was like, what vent? And it turns out that this vent here, which is closed by default, and then they spray over the top of it, should be open. And the moment we open this vent, all our smoke alarm problems are over. So if you've got a fairly new Integra, you'll have a vent here. You can, you'll need to stand on a ladder to undo these two clips. And there's one thing for sure, I would definitely, definitely not go RV in and not take. And that's the old baseball CR spotless because you can see how dirty the car gets. Get yourself one of these products. Uh, as you've seen in a previous video, you already know that uh, I can get a discount for you. And I'll give you a code at the end. What a great product. So, don't leave home without it. So, that's it. All done. 25 minutes. Start to finish the car. No polish. All I just did is wash, rinse. So, if you've got one of these, or one of these, you need one of these. Brilliant product. I mean, I have to say, generally, um, we're really happy with our Integra, even though we've got a steering problem. That's, I'm not holding Integra responsible for that. And we have had a lot of issues, but do you know what? After you've had a coach six, seven months, you realize that most of the issues you have aren't actually issues. It's just you just don't know how to use it. Now, things like the TV, you know, I thought we had a problem with the dashboard and we couldn't get the TV out here, but it was just that it hadn't been explained to us. So most of the, well, not most, but a lot of the issues on the list that we had initially were just that we didn't know how to use things. So now we, we're more familiar with the RV and we know how things work. 
you know, it's a, it's a, it's a breeze and it's, it's a great, it's a great vehicle and we love it. I just wish, you know, we could get the steering sorted. So if you're thinking of buying an Integra, honestly, I don't think you're going to find a better coach.